In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to use inches with parametric modeling in FreeCAD. Note, the important point of 3D parametric modeling is that you can make various dimensions of your model dependent or related to other dimensions. This means that once you have your basic design, you can later scale your model simply by changing one dimension, and then other related dimensions will automatically update accordingly. This is a very powerful feature. To get started, click on File, New. Next, this is not necessary, but I click on Edit, Preferences, Display, Colors, and Simple Color. This is to get a black background, which to me is a little easier to see during a tutorial. Click OK, click Apply, and click OK. Next, we're going to set the project units to inches. To do that, click on Edit, Preferences, General, and here we want to make sure that we have U.S. customary inches and pounds selected. Click on Apply, click OK. Next, let's open the spreadsheet workbench here and create a new spreadsheet by clicking this icon right here. Now we're going to give each dimension that we're going to use a friendly name. For instance, model width, model height. Now we're going to select these two cells and right click, go to properties, Go to Display Units and type in the quote mark for inches. Next, click on this cell here, B2, and over here, give it an alias. Model W-I-D-T-H, all one word. Now, do the same thing for cell B3. Alias, Model Height. Next, let's enter a model width, let's say six inches, and notice important that you put the quotation mark after the number to indicate we want inches and not millimeters. And here for the model height, let's put in four inches. Again, using the quote mark to tell FreeCAD that we want inches. Next, let's save our file by clicking File, Save, and I'm going to save it on the C drive in a folder named FC Prams, and we're going to name the file Demo. Now let's go to the Park Design Workbench right here, and we're going to create a new body, and we're going to create a new sketch. And we're going to create that sketch in the XY plane. Now get our rectangle tool right here. Draw an arbitrary rectangle. Click, right click. Next, we're going to set the width. Click on this tool. Click on this line. And instead of typing in the width, Click on this icon right here. And we want to type the name of the spreadsheet, which in our case is simply the word spreadsheet. Dot model width. Notice we use the alias model width with no space. Click enter. Click OK. Notice that the length is now changed to 6 inches in this field. Click OK. And click View. Standard Views Fit All. 
And notice our width is now 6 inches. Next, we want to set the height, so click on this icon here. Click on this line. Click on this icon. Type in spreadsheet dot model height. Press enter. Click OK and click OK. And notice that our model is 6 inches by 4 inches, which is exactly what we put in the parameter spreadsheet. Next, let's modify our dimensions. Click on the spreadsheet, change the 6 inches to 4 inches, 4, quote mark, change the model height to 2 inches, 2, quote mark, return to the sketch view, and double click on one of the dimensions to get it to update. Click OK, and you'll notice our drawing changed to 4 by 2 inches. Let's go back once again to the spreadsheet. Let's change the width back to 6 inches, 6 quote mark. And let's change the height, this time to equal the cell identifier of the model width, which is B2, divided by 2. Hit Enter. Go back to the sketch view. Click on one of the dimensions. Click OK. And you'll notice that the dimensions once again changed to 3 by 6. Notice also that when we did this division that we did not put a quote mark after the 2 to indicate inches. However, if we were to change this to B2 minus 1, we would need the quote mark. Go back to the sketch view and double click on a dimension to get them to update. And there we are, 6 by 5. So once again we'll go back to the spreadsheet and we'll change this back to 6 by 4 inches. So it gets a little tricky on when to use the unit in the division or addition and subtraction. But I think you get the idea. Hit enter. Back to the sketch view. Double click on the dimension to get them to update. And click OK. And we're back to our 6 by 4. That concludes this tutorial on how to use inches as the units when doing a parametric model in FreeCAD. Thank you for watching.